Now we are going to show the operation of the 90 degrees L welding. Uh, the first thing we have to know is what material do we use. In that case we are using 10 millimeter PE and um, then you look in this table here what joining uh, pressure you have, what alignment time, what heating time and what cooling time. After that you need a calculator in order to calculate the right welding force for this kind of material. So it's the length of the material times the thickness times 0 0.15 equals 1500 Newton meter to weld this and that divided by 200 that is the 8 millimeter on the gauge uh, which you will see here next to the wheel. So with this gauge you are adjusting now the pressure for the welding uh, for the welding force. So the first thing you have to do is the clamping of the vertical plate here uh, and then you screw this bar here on this support beam here in order to fix this uh, vertical plate. So that's the first thing you do. The second thing is you have to make sure that you have a gap between between the vertical uh, plate and the table here on the right. And this gap needs to be around the thickness of the material you're welding. In that case we are welding 10 millimeter material so that means the gap needs to be 10 millimeter. So then after that you will fix the table with this small wheel over here and uh, with this you fix the table to the 10 millimeter and then you're going to clamp the horizontal plate. Normal clamping so against the vertical plate as you can see here now so make sure that the clamping is done very well between the left screw and the right screw. Okay, right. So now make sure that the clamping is done even and not too tight please otherwise you will have a banana here on the bar so only normal clamping by your hands is enough and it has to be even between the left and right clamping bar okay now we are going to open the table again so now it's very important that the heater needs to be put up in the, in the right position but make sure that the heater only comes up about one millimeter above the vertical plate so that you are not uh, do much too much heating on the um, horizontal plate here so now we have we apply the full pressure of eight millimeters and we clamp with the small wheel here uh, the bar to 8 millimeter so that means now for about 60 seconds maybe a little bit more we have to melt both materials the vertical one and the horizontal plate until you see a small weld over here it's of course a little bit dark now that you cannot see it but we can see it now here on the video it's a little bit difficult to see but here you need to have a left and right some kind of a melt between between the heating plate that will take a while of course okay now we are reducing, now the melt is correct, now we are reducing, you see, 
the pressure here on the bar to about one millimeter. That means one tenth of the total force. The total force in that case was eight millimeter on the gauge here, remember, to, in order to achieve the 1500 millimeter. Now we have with 150 newton meter only heating the material all the way through. And at the same moment, uh, we have pushed now here a button on the left hand side over here and adjusted the small gauge here to 100 millimeter. But now you can see already 61 se or 60 seconds now, now it's counting down to zero. And if we are down to zero, that means we have 100 seconds heated up this material and then an alarm will come on. And the alarm can be switched off here on this black switch here on your left next to that box here and that moment you know okay my material is is correctly heated up and then we are coming to the joining time and to the correct joining pressure which needs to be applied by this big wheel here in order to come up to eight millimeter on the gauge here achieving the correct 1500 millimeter for the joining pressure. So in 10 seconds now we have reached the 100 seconds heating time and again after that we, now we need to open the tables open it, correct, down with the heater now quickly to, to the melt and now we are slowly increasing the pressure to 8 millimeter on the gauge achieving the correct the correct uh, pressure for the welding process and now we have to wait for quite a while which you can see on the table how long the cooling time needs to be okay now we are breaking up the cooling time after about six minutes now we have been waiting now normally according to DVS we should have been waiting 16 minutes so now we are open both tables and the clamping the clamping of both tables and remove the material so now we open the front part of the table So take the material out and now you can see the result of our welding. Yes, here you can see the weld bead. Now we are going to remove with a bead remover, a very simple one here, the bead. So now please show it to me. So now you can see it's perfectly welded all over. It looks really good and it's an easy way of butt welding with a Ingenia S-Hunt butt welder, a manual butt welder to even weld in a 90 degrees direction.